Alright guys, welcome to another auction voiceover video. So this day, Eric and I went to the auction and I'm just gonna show you around some of the things that I was seeing, what I was interested in, and kind of like a roundabout of what maybe some things sold for. Uh, this first tray I'm looking at has a lot of like fun little dollhouse miniatures on. Eric and I actually left the auction before it ended because we went to another auction. Uh, we're kind of a little bit auction crazy here lately, um, so I didn't get a chance to bid on that dollhouse um, miniature furniture. A lot of things at this auction and I'm maybe chalking it up to Christmas coming but a lot of stuff sold so incredibly high like insane amounts. Um, I was slightly interested in these Pyrex dishes however again <laughs> they sold for so much and when I was looking up um, when I was doing my research they sold for more than what they were selling for on eBay so definitely wasn't a good pickup to purchase for reselling but you know there's plenty of people who do collect as well these little things were some sort of um, tapes that play I'm not quite sure Eric was looking at the Pyrex and I thought the two that had the metal tops were really interesting. I never saw the metal tops. Um, postcards tend to sell very high at the auction, especially if they, you know, have the really nice images on them. Um, I did not, I, I should say, I don't normally bid on them because the paper people, the ephemera people, um, will pay a lot for those types of just like vintage paper. This was like a glass cupy doll um, i did look that up i did research that and again it sold for more than what it was selling for on ebay so i never even got a chance to bid on it because <laughs> it sold for too much um so i'm trying to think if there was anything else on this particular table that i was interested in i don't think that it was um i was saying this looked like a crystal ball it's like a huge paperweight that sold for a lot as well. But uh, paperweights do tend to sell for decent money at the auction. Uh, over here we have a lot of old books. This one looked like um, someone made it into like a, you know, like a secret compartment type thing. I thought that was really interesting. Um, as always, like the books were selling pretty high as well. There was a ton of pottery pieces at this auction and I don't even know if I was recording all of them because there was like a bunch of people over in the cases where a lot of the pottery was and a lot of those uh, pottery crocks and jugs, some were selling for as high as $600. It was insane. <laughs> absolutely insane what things were selling for that day so needless to say i did not win a whole lot at this auction but i love going and i love at least trying to win um some of the stuff that i'm interested in but that's just the thing you never know um who's there for what and what someone's willing to pay i thought this mirror was just so out of place it looks like a newer mirror definitely not um, what i would think would be older eric was looking at these metal um, cookie cutters some of these can actually sell pretty decently as well it just depends on um you know the shape of them and stuff like that had they been you know holiday related we probably would have been a bit more interested i can't remember exactly what they sold for i think they did sell them by the piece and it just you know wasn't anything that we were super interested in these dishes coming up, these blue ones, these are actually, um, well, sorry, I guess I had to play with a, a drawer there. <laughs> um, B&O Railroad is what these dishes are, and they can sell for a lot. I went to an auction once where, like, each piece was selling for insane amounts. These did sell decently, but not as much as the ones I had seen before sell. So. I have no idea what this was. I was joking around that it was like a vintage like foot scraper like pumice stone. That might have been what it was. And these I think are like little pin cushions of some sort. They were cute. I was just playing around. You guys know I like to play <laughs> with stuff. I can't help myself. 
and I'm not quite sure what that was. It was kind of hard. It wasn't, you know, soft like a pincushion would be. And I couldn't tell what those things were either. And that's just like a little putt's house. Um, and then we have, sorry guys, you know, I just love to play with things. I'm about to play with something else here soon. I'm not sure what that was. If anyone knows what that thing is, let me know. It was... It was a little mind-boggling. I had to get myself playing with those beads. They made like a really nice <laughs> noise. Okay, over here at another table, just some trays of stuff, um, little toy there, and this was a nest. I think, I think it's a hummingbird nest. I'm not entirely sure, so if you guys know, let me know down in the comments. And then over here, I did see there was some like Beatrix Potter little ceramic figures they weren't worth a whole lot but again they sold for too much and same with these i'm gonna show you those schmid um, disney music boxes they sold for entirely too much as well like you can buy them on ebay uh, for less than what they were paying for them that thing actually moved it was animatronic <laughs> i was pretending it was biting my finger and then after that, some man said something, and it, I, I didn't understand. I feel like it was kind of inappropriate, but I laughed anyway, because I was just a little bit weirded out. You know how that is. And then over here, this Christmas book. I thought this was so cool. I did win this. Um, I thought it would be really fun to look through. I may do like a flip through video of it, because it's just got like really awesome vintage um, Christmas items in it. And then over here were some vintage Christmas lights. I really liked those um, candela candelabra. <laughs> I'm not sure how you pronounce that candelabra. Um, I liked the tips on those. I don't normally see ones in that color with those tips. Eric was interested in the bulbs because they were still, you know, in their original boxes. I can't remember what they sold for, but we did not win any of the um, Christmas bulbs. And that tree stand actually rotated. It was really nice. I think that sold for a good bit as well. I just can't remember exact prices on everything. I was saying on this table to Eric, I was like, oh, there's not much on these tables. So maybe that means that the auction will go a little quick. <laughs> and then over here, I was playing on this tray here. There's this, yeah, I'm about to pick it up. This little skull. When you... um raise the chain thing on the top of his head his teeth jitter and clatter it's really really cute unfortunately it's not worth much some of the other pieces might have been i don't know what character that was i don't know if that was howdy doody the tin toys always sell for a lot this tray with the marble eggs sold for a decent amount i was interested in these little vintage knickerbocker um egg cartons unfortunately they put because that's really not worth a whole lot of money this little knickerbocker set but they put it with the tray beside it with all of those um vintage easter pieces on and of course that tray sold high so i didn't get a chance to even bid on the knickerbocker because they put it with that i don't know if that elephant was new or older i was interested in this as well it's not it wasn't really worth a whole much and again it, it sold for more than what it was worth as far as ebay prices um i i will win one of these fire king tulip grease jars at some point at an auction but i just can't they sell like too close to um the worth value of them so it just it gets kind of crazy sometimes you just never never know there was a lot of cool little figures um right here in this table i tried to get the food dogs but again they sold too high um, the monkeys were awesome as well as that little dog. I tried playing the piano. Oh, and this is like a little lady head vase. I did win her at a decent price. So I was happy about that because I usually never win them. 
I tried winning those um, candle holders. They're by a company called Bloom. They sold for too much. Same with that little Santa. And same with the, the knee hugger Pixie. I think it sold for probably 20 a little more. And I feel like that's pretty much what, you know, you could get for it if you resell it. This thing <laughs> is just really weird. I didn't win that either. I did bid on it just because it was so weird looking. But the thing too with people at auctions, not everyone is an eBay seller. A lot of people have antique booths. So you can probably price your stuff a little higher than you could on eBay in a booth. So it makes sense sometimes that things sell for more. I was saying that Santa looks really embarrassed. His face is so red. Either that or he needs to get his blood pressure checked. Um, this was a little Fenton Owl ring holder. I loved it. I thought it was so cute. It wasn't worth a whole lot, but, you know, I kind of wanted it anyway, but it sold for way too much. And that was a little putz looking sheep and a glass squirrel. I think they put some of those pieces together. But yeah, I really liked that Fenton Owl. I thought this lady was kind of cute too. I don't remember what she sold for or anything like that. Because sometimes um, at the auction, they just lot things together. Like they'll put stuff together and sometimes there's no rhyme or reason. So you don't know what is actually going to go up by itself and what, you know, they might throw with something else. So sometimes you're in, you end up having to pay a little more for something because you know, someone wants the one thing and you want the other. So it doesn't always work out in your favor. This is a little vintage teddy bear. I thought he was cute. I think I had left before he was auctioned off, so I don't know what he went for. Um, but those like, um, those large cars you see in the back, um, they always tend to sell for a lot. This is another postcard tray, guys. I actually won this one um, for not much, and I feel like it's because, you know, the, the postcards on it weren't as amazing as some of the other postcard trays you see, but I've never really got into selling postcards, and I wanted to give it a shot, and at the price that I won it for, I'm pretty sure I paid seven dollars for the tray so i figured at that price point i can just play around and see you know what i can sell some of the postcards for and go from there i really like to get into the ephemera thing but i don't know a whole lot about it quite yet this was a really nice enameled cast iron um like dutch oven this sold for i think close to 50 I want to say at least 40 something which is still a really good price I we didn't see any makers marks on it so not sure who originally made it and that was a really nice KitchenAid mixer and just some kitchenware type of items there and then over here they have the little glass cases they put the little odds and ends in there the tiny things or the stuff that's a little more valuable not everything that gets put in the case is super valuable, but it's just the little things. That was a vintage Halloween noisemaker. I've always wanted to win one of those as well, but never never was able to. And I had just pointed at a little tiny stife bear. And it looks like those are some salt and pepper shakers. We got a couple circus posters. And then in this tray, it was a lot of old skeleton keys and just, you know, ran random little things. These two tables were full of nothing but books. A lot of them were either, I believe, furniture or like quilts and fabric and stuff like that. I was so interested in this one. This one was filled with like vintage Halloween stuff. Again, I wanted to win that one. It sold for $35, that book sold for. And you can buy it on Amazon right now for $40. So, I mean, I'll probably end up buying it on Amazon because I really really wanted it but I just I kind of thought it was crazy that it sold for $35 at the auction and then now we, Eric and I are over in what they call the box lot area and typically oops I just knocked my elbow sorry guys I was probably loud on this microphone um so this is stuff that a lot of the times they don't deem as worth as much i guess you'd say you'd see more modern stuff over here and things like that now not everything um 
is junky, but you know, there are some, some boxes and some things that, um, you know, can go for a dollar or at times people, no one bids on it because it's just, you know, not anything anybody really wants. Uh, I did see a couple of things over in this area though that interested me and I will talk about them when we come to them. There, I was just playing with some money. Wish it were real, you know? <laughs> there was like this vintage, um, kind of like educational type of system. We did look that up, but it didn't appear to be really worth a whole lot. So, um, can't remember if there was much over on this table. I was checking out this Yankee candle, um, black band candle. It was in French vanilla. That scent really isn't worth a whole lot, but I told Eric if it goes for like a dollar, just grab it because you guys know I'm obsessed with candles. So I figured I'd just <laughs> burn it myself. There was a ton of Elvis stuff. I feel like last time we were here, it was a lot of Marilyn Monroe. This week it was a lot of Elvis. <laughs> Um, down here, we're just kind of looking through the plushies. Um, I didn't really see a whole lot of plushies that interested me, but I do like picking them up. Uh, these were some like crazy big fish pillows. <laughs> oh my gosh, I got a kick out of those. They're very, like, very large. Um, that was like a costume faux, <laughs> very faux leather jacket i guess to dress up like elvis over here we've got a kool-aid snow cone maker i was interested in this lamb chop paper doll set it was still sealed um did not win that <laughs> at a decent enough price so you know it is what it is and we got some just games puzzles cars a lot of raggedy and dolls this game if you ever find it and it's complete is worth a lot of money Unfortunately, um, we were checking it out and it was missing pieces, so did not bid on that. So always check beforehand, make sure things have all the pieces. I mean, there are people that part out games and stuff like that, but you know, it's not always worth it in my opinion anyway. So didn't bid on that. <laughs> I liked that penguin. thought that penguin was cute. And then over here... I saw some vintage Barney stickers in there, some Christmas Barney stickers. They weren't really worth a whole lot. I told Eric to bid on the tray if it was like a dollar, but it went for more than a dollar. So I did not get those. And then I'm trying to think if there's anything else. There was like a Holly Hobby metal uh, trash can there. But when I was looking up comps, I didn't really see anything that stood out to me all that well. There's a Mr. Peanut peanut butter maker. I thought that was cool. This was still sealed. It's newer though. Um, they do have like old ones of those. They're called weirdos, but that one was newer and wasn't worth much at all. Um, neither were those jump shoes. Just looking at some vintage books here. I like vintage kids books, but I wasn't really interested in any of those. And I think I'm about ready to head off. Nope, I'm looking at some more stuff. I don't know what was under there. Just some more vintage uh, books. Some Pez dispensers. And we're going to head on over to another table. Which you can see right there. <laughs> There's another one of those large troll dolls. Did not win that one. Um, it went for way more than what I would have been comfortable with um, making a good profit off of. And there were some other random trolls mixed into that box. Uh, a lot of strawberry shortcake dolls. Unfortunately, um, strawberry shortcake dolls are not worth much. I mean, you can even buy the vintage ones with their boxes. Not necessarily new, but with their boxes for not much money. So, um, it's kind of crazy. This doll is a very expensive doll, Miss 17. I did not know about her. She is not wearing her original clothing. Um, she sold for, I tried winning her, but she sold for too much that I was comfortable with in the condition that she was in. Um, so did not get her. These cases, most of them I believe were just empty Barbie cases. There were a lot of uh, Barbie dolls and down here some more plush. I was interested in this dog. I did win him um, I'm really starting to you know, I like picking up plush, but I don't know everything about every plush 
pretty much when you find plush, you just kind of have to look it up. So it's slightly time consuming if you don't know exactly what to look for. But I did win that dog and I think that um, he'll be able to sell pretty decently. So that was kind of a surprise to me. And then in this box, I'm just looking at more plushies. I really liked that lemur. I thought he was so cute. I love lemurs. Can we just talk about how <laughs> cute lemurs are? Oh my gosh love them and then in this one there were some of those like i think they're called for real pets and some more barbies there was a tray here of just vintage doll wigs um some pin back buttons prehistoric play set there and then over here <laughs> those pies were actually candles i thought those were so cool they looked like legitimate real pies but they were candles that's just a tray of like papers and just some random trays of mixed stuff these things here were um, by colonial candle company so i guess you put like a votive candle in those i thought they were drinking glasses at first but um they are candle holders and i thought this um lady was really pretty but found out that her hand was broken off so um i forget who she was made by i want to say it was something called remy wear or something along those lines i didn't look her up just because she was broken so i don't know if that's a good brand in general i thought this was so adorable this would be so cute for a barbie doll in like a barbie house i loved that and then i thought this was really cute too wasn't anything special i don't believe but it was just really cute kind of gave me that gym shore type of vibe to it um and in this tray not a whole lot there was like a putz looking house but it was in very very bad condition and then there was some older nest quick rabbit uh, pieces in there i thought those were cute i did look them up Had to play with the buttons and then over here we actually do have a case i guess they put in some of the better um toys that they had over here i don't really know to what degree they were i guess there were some gi joes on the bottom i don't know anything about gi joes we have more christmas balls eric was interested in these i do think that he won those for like a dollar which is awesome um i guess he did his research on those ones i really don't know what they were worth or anything like that and he was telling me that the ones in this tray weren't really anything except um he did say that strand was pretty decent he said it, they were made by ge so i don't know i guess maybe that means something good as far as christmas bulbs go um this tray was just filled with some jewelry <laughs> when i picked up that bag it was jabbing me so bad there was like i guess a bunch of pins in there I was hurting myself and then over on the I don't know if there was anything on this table that really interested me there's a lot of just um I guess like office supply stuff and things like that actually that tray probably wouldn't have been so bad there was like some blank stickers in there that would have been good for like yard sale stickers and then we got what is that a Keurig just some more like kitchen related things i was just digging around and um some of these trays seeing if there was anything good ever since i won that um cutco spreader at an auction now i'm like kind of obsessed with trying to find more for myself i know that it sells really well but like i want it personally <laughs> for my own use and then there's some cookbooks there's always lots of cookbooks at auctions and then down here, I was just digging around in this box. It was mainly just like pantry related stuff like Reynolds wrap and wax paper and stuff like that, which I I didn't need. But I mean, you know, Christmas is coming. A lot of holiday baking is going to be happening. So I'm sure someone took that as well as like these household cleaners. I mean, if you can get these things for like super cheap, it's it's a pretty good deal. 
just with like household cleaners and generalized stuff like that. I mean, you know, some of it's used, but some of it there's still a decent amount of product left. I was just looking in there to see if, you know, there's anything of interest, <laughs> which there wasn't. And that was like a, I think an oil filter to a, a Kia. I didn't look that up. I don't know. I don't know anything about cars or how much oil filters typically cost. Eric does all that stuff. And there's always like scraps of cloths and things like that. People use just, you know, for cleaning and things. So didn't really see anything there. Um, this man was talking to me, asking about my camera. He had never been to an auction before, so I was you know, kind of explaining things a little bit to him and his, his wife. He was really nice. I should, I probably should have edited that out since there's not much going on. I apologize. Don't follow this woman around. <laughs> I'll help you as much as I can. Are you finding stuff that you're interested in? something in here. Ooh, yeah, like a diamond. Ooh. Looks like a little pin. I think that's the CSX, train. That's Is that like the a train? train? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Cool. Oh, these are cute. All right. I just decided to leave in a little bit of, you know, just what was going on. Um, this is another tray of jewelry. I was interested in this tray specifically for one piece. I mean, this piece was really cool as well, uh, but there is a Christmas tree pin. I'm about to pick it up. That is, oh my gosh, do you see how beautiful that is? It is marked Austria on the back, so it's definitely an older piece. Um, I did win that tray. I paid up for it a little bit. I think, you know, a couple people were interested in that tray specifically for that pin, but I'm glad that we did win that because that was a gorgeous pin. I think I paid like $24 for that tray. Hope you guys enjoyed the video.